Hi all and welcome to my channel, welcome to John's Ball Making. Today we're going to be completing the Spitfire issues of 61 and 62. Now, 61, fitting a lower fuselage panel and 62 is actually fitting the power connector. Electrical connector and housing. Lovely jubbly. Now this issue isn't going to take long. There we have the lower fuselage panel. It is metal, four screws and we're away. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Okay, so issue 61, let's get the parts out of the bag. Here's the lower fuselage cover. There she is in all the glory. Lovely paint job. Four screws. Not a great lot to this issue. All she does is pop under there, position it there, and we have one, two, three, four screws. So let's get right to the bag. Get a bit of oil. And let's place this back. It should be there. It is. Put one screw in first. Right, that's not going to take. There we go. One completed issue. Hasn't taken that long. <laughs> Never does with the Spitfire at the moment. Right, so I'll show you. There we go. There we go. Looking nice and bonny. There she is. Can't get it much better than that, can you? It's coming on really well now. Place it in. That is issue 61 complete. Well, that wasn't hard, was it? But it is looking a lot, lot better. Let's have another look here on this camera. There it is. Got a bit of oil under there as well. Mm, clean that off, no problem. But she's looking really good. Let's do issue 62, shall we? And then we're nearly, well, we are finished for this month. On we go. Issue 62 electrical connector and housing, parts checklist. 6201 is connector housing, 6202 is connector housing, 6203 is connector casing, 6204 is connector and cable, and then we have three PM two times six mil screws. And then we have the parts. So here we go. Screws, connector, casing. Now basically how this shows this, it goes to the pictures that way and it's supposed to but that isn't right that's supposed to go all the way up to the top let's be that way around there we go there we go that's that part done it does say in the instructions which way, but I think the picture's wrong there, to be honest. Um, because now what we need is this housing, which is plastic, and one has a peg, one hasn't, and the one without the peg, we pop that in there, like so, and then pop that over there, like so, 
and that stays well it's supposed to stay together but we've got to glue it there we go and that's supposed to swivel this being a power connector you have it too static um, and plus because the plane's going to be moving around when it's doing its uh, different flight modes and function modes I can understand why that has to be loose like that now <clears throat> says apply a little super glue once we're happy with the fit so let's go and do that take that off again doesn't matter which way you do it really to be honest let's get some super glue there's that peg there we got the peg put that all together there we go I've only put it on the peg side I've not put it anywhere else dee 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 dee, dee. just a little bit too much there that's great that should hold in place though now basically we need to fit this in the plane at the back here so I need to move that cable out of the way I'm looking at the pictures I think it goes does it go that way yep it should do there you go twist it to get it in and then we've got two screws one here and one here let's get the screws out the only suppliers with uh, three screws so we are correct obviously this will will be screwed into place on the next section I think we get along now this is going to be a little bit awkward oh, oh, let's tuck it, it's fine the next screw into place there we go there we go that's that in place as you can see it moves around which is exactly what it's supposed to do so nothing to worry on that score brilliant that is that stage complete now while we're here what we can do we can test this dorsal light um, move these cables out of the way flopping all over the place and I did find my battery pack and it's just a case of plug in and there she is excellent there we go always pull it out with the connector right so that's what we've done today turn it over there's a lower fuselage panel lower fuselage panel and the power connector that looks like a um quite a sturdy connector that with the fact that it moves around which is great in my experience when uh, you put anything in a plug that size and it's uh, static uh, something gives either the lead or the connector itself eventually um, and obviously with this being remote control um, and then simulating flight modes um, you can understand why that um, has to be rocky like that swivels it does 
Uh, here's the other kit. Uh, there we go. Let's see. I think that's for the Morse cord. Can you see that? The, the red one? Yep. Brilliant. Alright, let's have a look at the magazine. Okay, as always, I'd like to have a look at the magazines. In issue 61, we have the National Gallery at Wall, the Myra Hess concerts. And on the next page, we've got the North African Climax. And then we have one of the Polish aces of World War II, Stanislav Skalski. And then next four pages, US Photo Reconnaissance. There we go. And then we finish off with Coastal Command Air Power Over the Seas. And obviously then it shows you what is in the next magazine, parts wise. 262. Let's see where we're. There we go. Endless Offensive. Uh, one of the Spitfire crew. Or crews. Number 340 Squadron. Operation Steinbock. And bombed out parts of uh, London. There's a Heinkel HE 177. An article on one of them. And a beautiful looking mosquito here which I completed uh, by Revell. Uh, mine looks just as good as that, if only. And then in the next part, next issue, 63, we got two more fuselage frames, bringing that further out here. Excellent stuff. There she is, all completed once again. Well, I hope you like that. That um, was a really good, a really quick as well for what it is. Um, that power connects all thing is going to give us many problems uh, with it being able to swim around. Well, hopefully not anyway. Um, the cockpit looks nice in place now. Uh, pop it back on the other camera. There we go. I did a test fit as to where it goes. There is, um, it does fit here so you can screw it in here. But at the back, I don't know because there's two here, one on either side, and there's nothing for them to actually there you go, for them to actually screw into yet. I modified my seat, it's got a bit of fall leather on it, get a bit more of an authentic look. I know some people have actually changed the compass, uh, I think it is the compass on the front, uh, at the front here, but I'm not doing that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and subscribe, please. Leave a comment, and it is free to subscribe, if I've not already said. Um, thank you for all those that do subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.